at him. What's up? Me and Vani channel is Vani. Now I just want to address two things real quick. Uh, the first thing is uh, I don't like doing video. I'm not gonna say I don't like. I don't usually do videos with Tamir because uh, we're never to, we're never together when we do videos. Like she'll have an idea, and I'll watch the kids while she does it, or put the kids to sleep so they don't you know run around and make noise to make the video better for you guys. And the second thing is um you know we usually I'm always out. So when I'm out an idea pop up and I'll wait until people are gone like right now it's nighttime I just got done playing basketball everybody's in the house and I'm walking home so um now is a good time to do it the second thing is that um uh what was I about to say oh she so just hit me up and said that uh you guys don't like it when uh you can't see what's going on and my answer to that is um Nothing I can really do about it. Uh, I, I'm walking home. It's dark. I'm not doing anything spectacular. It's nothing really to see. You know, plus, I'm not trying to have the flash on and everything and have the flash beam in my eyes and have the flash take down my battery while video recording. It's taking down my battery. The video won't even finish. My phone will die before that can happen. So, I mean, I'm literally just walking and talking. There's nothing to really see. So, um... This is just for people to listen to. Like if you are on your way to work or something, you just have your phone in your pocket and just and just listen. So um, that's my answer to that one. When I do make a video with my face in it, it's because it's light and I'm able to do it. But um, on to the video. So um, what I want to talk about is drugs. And what I have to say about it is that I don't like them. Like at all. And I have so many reasons for that. So I guess I'll start like an order. Like how they affect me when I was young. So um, young, growing up, everybody around me smoked. They smoked when I was there, when I wasn't, when I was around, when I was in the same room, when I was right next to them. They smoked. All they ever did was smoke. So um, I know uh, <laughs> a bunch about smoking. And Dutches and L's and Roaches and Grinders and like all types of stuff like that lighter thieves and everything because I grew up around it so um I never like smoking immediately because I don't like the fog when you smoke in a room all the fog comes up and it makes it hard to see sh shit so like being a kid trying to watch TV and there's fog all around the TV you can't really see it so that would always suck another thing uh when you smoke in a place the smoke turns the walls yellow and they get inside of anything that's fabric so like couches you know anything that's mesh and i get into it and it'll start smelling like that so like everything will start smelling like a uh, like skunk or loud and it's like when you really want your house to smell like roses or something like it, it stinks i don't like the way it smells you know if you've seen a skunk walking down the street you'd be like ew that stinks but if you see somebody smoking some weed oh it smells good that that doesn't make sense. It's the same smell. It's just coming from something different. So I don't see how one smells good and the other smells bad. What else? Um, another thing is um, we was always prioritized. It was like a necessity. It was a need in my household for some reason. Like um, a lot of times, either work was good or it was bad. And whether it was good or bad, we always was in the equation. So... Even when we didn't have money to spend like that, it would still be a hundred dollars or something put to the side specifically for smoking, which never made sense because um we don't have the money to be doing that. And even if we did, that money could be going towards something different, like something for your kids, something for the household that needed to be replaced for a while. Like and you're not doing that just so you can smoke, which is something that you don't need to do since weed isn't physically addicting. So you don't have to smoke. You're just choosing to do it, which means that you're looking at us. You're looking at your house and you're choosing to say, fuck all that so you can smoke, which is so disrespectful to me. So, um, like, uh, hmm, what was I about to say? Oh, and like other times, like we would get told that we're going to Oakland to prepare or something. That used to be in the Boulevard Plaza and... 
Like, they be like, we gonna go, so get ready. We gotta smoke first. By the time that y'all finish getting ready, we gonna go. So, we would go get ready and shit. And then by the time that we would come down, they would finish. And we would see them rolling up again. So, I would say something like, uh, where's we supposed to be going to Old Country Buffet? But y'all smoking again. And they'd be like, hush. Or something like that. And, you know, I would hush. And then by the time they finished smoking the second one, we would miss our bus and can't go. So, <laughs> so it's like, um, what is the point of telling us who's going to go and getting our hopes up? We not eating because we think we're about to go out to eat. So now we hungry. And just to be told that we're not going anyway because we done missed the bus that was going to take us to breakfast. And now it's lunch and y'all don't want lunch. <laughs> so now we got to walk back to the house hungry after we just left the house hungry. And then got to come back and not even get a sorry or get a um or get any food made for us. We just got to make our own food or starve, which ain't made no damn sense. And all of that just because you wanted to smoke, which is something that you didn't have to do. <laughs> so from early on, smoking didn't make sense. It was prioritized over everything. So I never liked it. Money that we didn't have or money that we did have could go anywhere else but you choose to make it go towards smoking and even when we didn't have it you would <laughs> find ways to get it up just so you could smoke weed anyway i never understood it so there's that and then fast forward a few more years and stuff you, we, i'm growing up with my friends and everything and we all agree yeah smoking is stupid there's no point in it I don't know what people get out of it. It's like, uh, we, we're we never going to smoke. Cool. I felt the same way. Yeah, I'm not going to smoke either. So, <laughs> to this day, have I smoked? Of course. Yes, I have smoked. Did I like it? No. It was stupid. Did I get high? No. Because my body has an extremely high tolerance rate and nothing gets me high. Just like when I go to the doctors and get given sleeping pills or pain medicine, the pain doesn't go away. I don't get sleepy. Nothing <laughs> has enough impact to affect my body. So smoking is pointless for me because I cannot get high. I can't even drink coffee or take five hour energy because I'm not getting the caffeine effect. I'm not getting the boost. So it doesn't even matter. I don't get the boost. I don't crash. I don't like nothing happens. So smoking is <laughs> it, it's pointless for me so now all my friends and stuff we grew up some more and now they all smoke even the friends that said that they would never smoke they're the ones that's addicted to artists and i say addicted loosely because like i said it's not physical you know you're not dying you know you're not on the floor crying because your body's going through withdrawal you're just mentally addicted which means that you make yourself feel like you need it when you really don't so <laughs> which is probably even worse because physically at least you know that they they they, they body dead ass needs it to cope like they've been taking it for so long that their body actually <laughs> is going through withdrawal from not having it but mentally you can quit whenever you want but you're just telling yourself that you're not because you're making yourself feel that you, like, like you need it <laughs> if i throw you in the room and lock the door for an hour when i come back you're, you're gonna be fine if i do that to somebody that's on crack they're gonna be fucking broken down nail marks on the, in the <laughs> on the wallpaper it's not the same so <laughs> everybody grew up now everybody's smoking and i'm just sitting here like okay what about me guys uh we don't hang out no more just yesterday i got hit up with my mans and everything because i told him happy birthday just in case he didn't get it on his timeline and he was like oh thank you bro and everything you know, we were shooting the shits, just having a conversation. And he said that uh, he want to pull up on me so I could go uh, smoke because he was talking about smoking. And I'm like, you're yeah, smoking is trash for me. Don't do anything for me. I don't like it. Never have. Never will. So he's like, oh, you got to smoke with me. Oh, this done third. And I'm just like, eh, nah, you're going to waste your whole bag trying to get me high, bro. You might as well just save yourself the trouble. And he said you about to pull up on me. And I'm like, um, yeah, uh, no. I don't like smoking. I'm with my family right now. My kids is jumping on me, having fun. My wife is over in the corner on her phone watching uh, Two and a Half Men. 
I'm having fun right now. I'm enjoying myself in this quality family time. I don't want to get dragged at my house at 11 o'clock just to smoke when I don't like smoking. But I'm like, um, I'm not busy tomorrow. If you want to do anything, I'm busy. I mean, I'm not busy in the day or at night. So uh, we can do something then that doesn't involve smoking. So I hit him up the next day after I woke up, you know, took my shower, brushed my teeth, got myself all ready. And I hit him up and I'm like, yo, you trying to ball or something? Because <laughs> that's all I ever do is ball. If I'm not working, I'm balling. If I'm not on my phone, I'm balling. If I'm not with my family, I'm balling. I ball. I'm a baller. <laughs> so maybe I'm going to not really. So I call him a lazy fucker because that's what he is. <laughs> because that's all he used to do was ball. He, he was on a basketball team and everything. He would do AAU leagues and stuff like that. If the dude's on the college basketball team, when he goes back to college, he'll be playing basketball. He has to go back to college earlier than everybody else so he can start practicing with the team. So he balls. He enjoys balling. But he doesn't want to ball because he'd rather smoke. You see my whole thing? Smoking changes people. It ruins relationships. I don't like it. Sure, it, it'll strengthen the relationship of a friend that do smoke. Like, it must be nice to sit up and smoke with somebody who enjoys it and y'all having a good, meaningful conversation and laughing and because y'all both high or eating food when high must be great or something like that, you know? But for the ones that don't smoke, that's terrible, you know? I don't get to spend as much time with y'all, people that I thoroughly love because y'all smoke. And I don't want to be around it. And I don't want my kids around it. I don't want to bring you around because you smell like smoke. I don't want to be in your car or wherever you stay at because everything smells like smoke. I don't want to be with you because all you talk about is smoking. Or you making detours so you can go get some weed. Or detours so you can go to the store and get, you know, a Dutch so you can roll up. Like, everything out your mouth is smoking. Everything that you're about to do is in preparation to smoke while I'm there or when I'm about to leave. You're not 100% focused on me or anybody else around you because you're busy on trying to make sure that you can smoke. And <laughs> that's disrespectful to me. It just doesn't make any sense. Like, a lot of y'all who watch us probably do smoke. And I'm just, like, keeping it a buck with y'all. Have you ever took the time to see what your relationships is like with people that don't smoke? Probably not because everybody that y'all hang out with probably does smoke. <laughs> like, you know? I don't want to be around people that smoke because there's no point. Like, you can't go to certain places because they don't allow smoke in there. You can't rent certain apartments because they don't do smoking. You don't, people don't want to be around you because you smell like smoke or that's all that's on your mind. Like, why can't I call you over and be like, yo, come scoop me so we can just freestyle, drive around, walk around the mall. Let's go ride bikes. Let's just walk just to walk. Let's play the game, you know? get some Madden or some 2K, hop on Call of Duty, let's see if we can get the most kills, like, let's do the shit that we used to do when we was kids, when we was 12, and growing up, like, let's do the stuff that we used to do, the stuff that we used to bond over, we've been together all of our lives, like, literally, either, all the people that I know, we've been people since A, birth, or B, since fifth grade, like, it was, like, some of the people that I'm talking about, I, like, we was literally born together, born a year apart. Like, we were each other's best friends from then up to now. The other people, like, I was their first friends when they got to school because nobody else would talk to them. Or I done fought for them or something and, like, defended them. Like, like the people that I'm talking about, they, they aren't just casual friends. Like, nah, these was, like, real-life brothers. Like, the only, thing that <laughs> the only thing that separated us was actual blood was the fact that we weren't related. But everything else <laughs> was 100% blood. And that was the sad part, because, like, now, I like, why aren't you around my kids when, you know, you call them nephew? You know, you're not doing nothing for them. You're not being here for them. Like, you're not coming out to no birthday parties or doing anything. And when you do, you leave because you want to go smoke. Like, it's fine if you got, you know, things on your plate, stuff to do, if you want to go work, or if you just want to spend your day doing whatever it is that you do with your day, since it's your life. But if you really taking time out to smoke, and that five hours that you're taking time to smoke could have been dedicated to, you know, any of us, then, they, yeah, that's kind of selfish. Because you're doing it all the time, you know? It's not the same as when I have a family, so I'm obligated to always be with my family. Whether I work or ball or anything, at the end of the day, 
I have to come back to my family and spend time with them. That's where I live. That's what I do. My family is always a priority, but smoking is not. You just make it one. You're not doing anything besides smoking. <laughs> so it's like you really don't have to keep on doing it how you do it. You don't have to go so hard with it. You've been finding joy and living your best life for all these years without smoking. But now every single day in your life since you started smoking, you've been doing it. You can't stop. Like, if I, that's not addiction, I don't know what is. Man, because it's, it's crazy, you know? And plus all the money that you spend. It's ridiculous. Like, you ever take the time to realize that if y'all spending $100 a week on weed, that if y'all was not smoking, then y'all would have $100 extra a week that y'all didn't spend on weed? Or even if y'all didn't have $100 a week because y'all spent it on something else, then y'all still spent it on something else? <laughs> You spent it on something else regardless, but not weed. You bought, I don't know, some extra food. You bought yourself an outfit, you know, or you didn't spend anything, and now you really do have an extra $100 in your pocket after you done paid all your bills. Now, that's an extra $100 to do something else besides weed. Don't y'all, like, y'all don't notice that? Y'all don't see that? If that's how y'all have fun and everything, cool. But it's a problem when y'all not making time for the people that... You know you supposedly love and everything like that that's that's something completely different you know if you want to smoke more power to you smoke but i mean do y'all honestly realize that y'all could be doing anything else with y'all lives like making bonds with people you know like we're repairing the bonds that you done lost to people doing something fun with that money together with your family or with your friends or just pampering yourself you could be doing so much more with the money that you're wasting on weed. Something that you don't need, you know? Yeah. So I don't really know what more to say about it. I mean, I personally don't like it. I have valid reasons not to like it, you know? It was never a thing that interested me. And it was a thing that always negatively impacted me. There was no time when weed did a good thing for me. Like, so I never liked it. To this day, I still don't like it. To this day, I still don't get high. And to this day, I'm losing or already lost bonds to people because we don't do anything besides, you know, try to smoke when we together. That's not doing nothing for me. Like, I have friends that we all went to the same school together, and some of them spend, like, all day with each other. Like, they'll be with each other all day, every day. When they're not with each other, then they'll tag each other in on Facebook posts or hit each other up on Messenger, always text each other, like, a dead-ass relationship damn near <laughs> with each other. All because they smoke, you know? While me, on the other hand, I fell back because I don't smoke. Their entire life is now around smoking and doing things smoke-related. Smoking this or eating this edible or legalizing marijuana or going to a smoke lounge like all types of stuff like that i don't do that therefore we damn near not friends anymore because we done lost interest the only thing that's even keeping us still friends is the fact that we've known each other and been friends for so damn long and every now and then we make an attempt to you know not lose that connection even though it's damn near already gone you know like the literal meaning of hanging on by a thread we don't do nothing for me but just hurt relationships. Drugs in general don't do anything for me but hurt relationships. I don't want to be around you because you smoke. Everything smells like smoke. Everything about you is smoke. Like, it's just, what does that do for me? That's not fun. That does, that's not interesting. You know, nobody just want to sit there and lay there and can't function because they high. You know, now they hungry. Now they thirsty. Then they sleepy. Then they get up and do it all again. I don't want to live that damn cycle. That's, that's not doing nothing for me. Maybe it's because I have kids. Or maybe it's because my life was not <laughs> positively impacted by weed. Maybe it's because I just my body won't allow me to get high. Maybe that's what it is. But I, drugs is... Well, they're genuinely bad. They're bad in general. The only one that's really all right for you is weed. Everything else is, you know, terrible. That's why it's labeled as a drug, you know? That's why, yeah, I mean, 
I made sure I got somebody that doesn't do drugs, you know, somebody that doesn't drink, because there's no point in doing it. Why would I want to drink or smoke and be passed out or inebriated or can't function correctly? Like, you can't even have sex with a girl who was drinking because that's labeled as rape because she can't give consent. Because if she was sober, she might have gave you a different answer. Like, why do all that and even risk that much? I don't see the point of it. When I can be completely drug free, completely alcohol free, and still live the same exact life as somebody who's doing all of it, you know? Only difference is I'll be healthier and I'll <laughs> be just as happy with more time on my hands. Because while they're spending hours doing those things, I'm spending hours doing other things that's actually important. Exercising, making more money, spending time with friends and family. Like, <laughs> even if I'm not doing anything but laying down, at least I'm laying down in my right mind. At least I'm not too high or too drunk to get up, you know? <laughs> At least I don't have to worry about nobody getting into my secret stash or this or having to be afraid to throw something out the window because I hear sirens or like having to run out of a party because we all underage drinking. Like I don't have time for any of that. I don't have time to spend all this money on a bottle or <laughs> just sit around smoking all damn day because that's what everybody I know do. They sit around and smoke all damn day. Well, if they have the chance, then they do. And that's not doing nothing for them. It's not doing nothing for me. The only benefit that I'm seeing people who smoke get is the fact that they always get skinny. I don't know what it is, but smoking weed and drinking water just make people skinny. <laughs> I done seen so many people just smoke weed all damn day. And when you ask them, yo, bro, how you lose all that damn weight? They be like, man, smoking weed and drinking water. That's always they answer. And they come out looking like a whole new person. So, I give y'all that. Y'all got that one. <laughs> but, man, in all seriousness, you know, my life is just sad. You know, it's sad because I ain't got nobody to do nothing with, you know, other than my brother. And he's six years younger than me. It's not much that we can really do. And because I can only do stuff with him, he always around. And it gets to the point where he around so much that now my wife got to be like, can we spend time together? Like, he's always here. And I'd be like, all right, you're going to have to go back to your house. You can't stay over no more. Like, <laughs> I don't have just a regular life. And neither does she. She ain't got no friends either. But at least her reason is that she don't want to have friends. Me, I would enjoy having friends. But I can't because everybody just want to smoke. You know? I'd be watching TV or watching anime, putting on a movie or something. Or going on a Facebook post and seeing people tag they ride or dies or they best friends since this or somebody that they can call and who will always answer. And I'd be like, I, I don't have that. <laughs> I don't. If I needed diapers for my kids right now, I couldn't call a friend and be like, yo, can you give me a ride to the store? If I wanted somebody to just chill with and just talk to, I don't have that. Like, because everybody smoke or drink. It's not fun to watch the bonds with people that you built. For all these years to just crumble because y'all don't have one little small thinking interest which is you don't do drugs you don't drink alcohol because of that one or two tiny insignificant difference that shouldn't matter now it doesn't change completely who you are as a person you the same person that you always been because you never have smoked you never have drunk you the same person who you always been them drinking and smoking literally changed the way that they are. That's why you're not close like you used to be. Because they done did something new and it changed them. You always been the same person. So it's literally not your fault that your relationship with whoever it, is smoking and drinking is failing. You know? It's sad. Because you got to know that you're not even the problem. That they the problem. You making the effort. But because y'all have no interest in the same thing, the effort don't even matter. Because it's only so much that you can do. You can't force a person to just stop doing stuff, you know? It be on TV and things all the time. Like, um, I was watching Cheaters with Tamiya. That's her show. And um, the thing that dude them said was uh, his wife changed. Because uh, she used to be this church-going girl who, like, um... You know, never did anything and was like always in the house, a homebody. You know, she thought that smoking was wrong. Anytime that he would even, you know, bring it up, she would be all disgusted and everything. And he was cool with that because he ain't smoke either. And she ended up meeting somebody 
who uh, smoked, and he done got her to smoke, and that was, and then she turned into a whole new person. That's all she ever wanted to do. That's all she ever thought about. Anytime that she had free time, got my damn keys. Anytime she had free time, all she would do was smoke. And he was like, it's like it's obvious. You completely change who you are just because all you have on your mind is smoking. Like you work with kids and everything, because she was like a daycare lady. And like on her breaks, she would go and smoke. <laughs> Come back to people's kids, smelling like smoke. Not knowing who had asthma or anything. Like just because she wanted to smoke that bad. And it turns out that she was cheating on her dude. Like smoking, like jive changes your whole thought process. It changes how you think of things, how you see things. It changes who you are. And that's the worst part. Seeing somebody change because they want to smoke or something. And there's nothing that you can do because you didn't change. If I was the one that changed, then I could change myself for the better. Because I know that it was my fault that we didn't work out. So now I know that I can change how I am and make myself better so we can still keep our friendship. But knowing that, I'm always, that I've always been the same person that I've been since we was little up to now, knowing that I didn't change my character, I'm still the same old Savon that I've been when I was 10, when I was 12, up to 19, knowing that my interest and everything, my flaws, my personality is still Savon, that hurts. Because I know that it's really nothing that I can do. Because the only way we can keep our relationship is if I change who I am and start doing all the stuff that I'm talking bad about. Which I can't do because it, it's not who I am. I don't smoke. I don't drink. I've tried to smoke before. It wasn't happening. And now it just never will. I have no interest in smoking. I'm not even curious of how being high feels. I don't want it. I don't want to drink. My wife doesn't. I'm fine with that. Now it's money for my kids. That's not going towards smoking. Now I have extra money to do extra things because my whole allowance is built around being able to fit weed in with the phone bill and the car insurance and the lights and gas. Like there's no weed bill. I'm very happy with the way that I turned out. I'm a straight arrow. I'm clean edged, you know. And even though it sucks that I don't have friends and everything because all they ever do is want to do that. And it cuts into our time as friends, you know, the, the more power to them. You know, they still have friends. They still live in their best life. So, yeah, cool. I mean, y'all happy. So that's all that really matters. I don't have nobody to do stuff with and everything like that. But, I mean, eventually one day that'll change. I'll meet somebody that is just like me. Who doesn't like to smoke? Who doesn't like to drink? Whose idea of having a good time is literally having a good time? You know, having fun. You know, maybe smoking and everything is fun to other people, but me, I'm more of a talking person. I sit on the porch and talk, or we can play the game, or you know, we can go out and party. You know, we don't have to smoke. We don't have to drink. It's not gonna kill us if we don't. So, you know. Maybe one day I'll get a group of people that are like me and who enjoy just living and who don't need to drink or smoke to feel happy or get a headache because they haven't smoked in a long time or get mad because they're not drinking, like, you know. But I think I ranted long enough. More of the story is I had a bad experience with drugs that was never a positive thing for me. And even now, they continue to be a negative thing for me because they're taking away every bond that I ever made with people. Because all they can do is, you know, smoke. They don't even do the things that we used to grow up doing, that we love doing, that they used to do a year ago. Because now, they done smoked their first L and they completely changed who they were. Completely changed their character. And they completely changed our relationship as friends. You know? So... Let me know how y'all feel in the comments about smoking. Let me know if there's anybody out there who was in the same boat as me. You know, don't smoke, but have friends that do. And your relationship suffers because of it. Or let me know if you do smoke. And let me know if it affects your relationship. Maybe it's just the people that I'm friends with. Maybe they just, you know, aren't real friends. Let me know if y'all smoke and y'all still make time for y'all friends that don't smoke. Or y'all do things that, or like, y'all do things that don't have to do with smoking. Like, let me know, you know, how y'all feel about smoking and what it does for y'all and how it affects y'all 
and if y'all think that it's a good investment and not a waste of money like you know i honestly want to know because i have bad experiences but it's seven billion people on earth anybody can feel a different thing so let me know in the comments like share subscribe me and bonnie's channel uh because everybody gets mad i the next video i'll make i'll actually have light and show my face i'll make sure that i don't do it at night so um i love y'all and <laughs> live your best life